Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I'm a part-time reseller located in St. Louis, and I bring you each week two videos, one on Monday, one on Friday. The Monday videos talk through everything that I found for the week when I'm out hunting and looking for items to buy cheaply and resell online, mostly on eBay. And then on Friday, I tell you uh, everything that sold for that week. And so today's Monday, I'm going to talk through everything that I found. Uh, it's been a pretty good week for sourcing. I've uh, been out hunting quite a bit. Garage sales are sort of coming back, uh, coming back into season and... Um, Flea markets are coming back into season, so finding lots of good new stuff, and so we've got a lot listed this week. Looks like 55 items I've found since last Monday uh, and actually listed on eBay for a total list value here of $2,493. Now, of course, I'm not going to make that much money. That's just the list value. On average, I make about 60% margins, and so I calculate an estimated net uh, of all the items that I found this week and listed as $1,300 uh, if and when everything sells. But, you know, most likely I'm going to take best offers a little bit lower on this list value or some things may not sell as quickly and so I'll lower the cost. But that's for right now, about $2,500 list value this week, which is which is pretty good. I usually shoot for about 70 listings per week uh, if I can at the maximum. Again, I do this part-time. I have a full-time job, uh, so I'm not always uh, able to list as much as I would like. Let's go ahead and dig in. Uh, uh, we're going to go through the top 10 things that I found this week uh, out hunting, uh, starting with this guy. Uh, I actually didn't find this one. Uh, my wife found this, so uh, I do this part-time. She helps out quite a bit as well, uh, and she found this. Where did she find this? Um, looks like uh, at Goodwill. So this is a really good find. Crumpler. I'd never heard of this brand of uh, messenger bag before, and they've got the really kind of quirky uh, way of, of uh, giving their model names. Their model name for this one is the Dreadful Embarrassment. Um, that's the name of this um Name of this bag, so that's kind of interesting. It's got some pretty quirky colors. It's in really good condition. It's uh, a very large messenger bag. It's like you know, 19 by 16 inches. We've got this listed for $49.99 uh, plus $15 in shipping, uh, and I, you know, I think that's priced right in the middle. Some go for quite a bit, some go for a little bit less, but this one's priced right in the middle, and I think it's a really good price. All said and done, we expect to make about $35 uh, net on this. That's number 10. Uh, the ninth best thing that we found this week is this Easton Connection softball bat. I actually didn't source this this week. I sourced this uh, a long time ago, uh, towards the end of the summer, I would say. Uh, usually, when I find bats like this, though, uh, I don't I don't always list them right away just because it's not if it's not in baseball season. So with this case, I had like four or five bats that I'd found last summer and just waited to list them uh, until uh, baseball season, which is now's the time. Uh, this I got for let's see what did I pay for it? Uh, yeah, I paid five dollars for this, and I've got it listed for seventy uh, with free shipping. Uh, for a total net of $38.99, likely when it does sell. Kind of interesting to see USPS has changed some of their uh, rates on very long um, packages. And so I'm kind of afraid that uh, shipping bats uh, through the USPS uh, going forward is going to be kind of expensive. So I've got some research to do to figure out uh, you know, maybe I should be using an alternative. Like I use quite UPS quite a bit, so I might have to ship bats UPS uh, or FedEx, for example. So we'll see. All right, number seven on the list uh, are these Red Wing Irish Setter men's boots. So Red Wing is a great brand to look out for. Irish Setter is a good model to look out for. Brand new, these are probably $200 boots, I would say. I picked them up used at a garage sale just this past weekend for $15. Uh, and I've got them listed for 80. Um, there, you can see that they're a little splotchy. I probably could have spent some time trying to get rid of some of those splotches, but honestly, I just want to list them and get them out. So I lowered the cost a little bit. You know, the guy I bought them from said he only wore them once, which I just can't imagine unless, you know, he, he was, uh, you know, walking through a, um, an active paintball field or something. Uh, it seems like they were worn many more times than just once, but still, you know, a lot of good, uh, life in the tread here. And I, you know, I expect these to go pretty quickly listed at $80 in free shipping. So we'll see. I think they are, I think it already has a few watchers on it. So hopefully it'll go pretty quick. All right. Number seven, uh, is this Lionel, uh, it's a, uh, power supply, power control for a, um, you know, to uh, toy train set. Sorry, I don't know if they're called toy trains. I feel like that's sort of uh, a you know, negative way of putting it. Uh, a lot of adults play with trains. Uh, so I don't, no offense uh, 
<laughs> if you're offended by that. Uh, either way, um, you know, this I got at a garage sale this past, this last Wednesday. So we have Wednesday garage sales here. It's kind of strange, but um, I'm not complaining. Uh, this was actually in a package. It was like a, a kit uh, or a bundle of a lot of, it came with like a bunch of different trains, uh, came with this power supply, it came with like train tracks and all that. But unfortunately, it was incomplete. Uh, no matter, I paid $25 for the entire thing. And I just ended up parting it out into a bunch of different pieces. And it, you know, um, you know, I think I'm going to do really well on it. This, you know, I paid $25 for the entire thing. And, you know, this alone is going for $90 uh, plus $10 in shipping. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I, let, me, let me check because I actually got, I can look here. Um, yeah, so if you look at this receipt, this receipt is that garage sale. So you can see... Uh, I ended up parting it out into 10 different items, so for a total cost of $25. The total list value of all of those 10 items is $374. So after it's all said and done, the 60% margins, I expect to make about 10x ROI, $225. Um, it's about what I expect. And so you can see I ended up getting a lot of stuff. There's, um, you know, there's uh, some telephone poles, there's some track, there's a, d a bunch of different train cars, and then there's that... Um, whatever you call that thing, the power supply. So that was a good pickup. I was, I was excited to find that on a Wednesday garage sale. All right, next up, this is number five, it looks like. Uh, this I found yesterday at a flea market. Uh, it was just in a pile of a bunch of different old gloves uh, in not very good condition. But this, you know, uh, definitely stuck out right when I saw it. Always keep an eye out for uh, Wilson A2000 gloves. Uh, they're very, very popular uh, I'll show you the logo here where you can see the actual A2000. It's kind of hard to see there. Um, but it says the A2000. It's Wilson. This one is a good one. It's made in USA, which means it's even older. It's a vintage glove. It looks like it's in you know rough condition, but it's actually not bad uh, relative uh, to, to baseball gloves. They're usually used pretty hard. There you can see the A2000 logo there. Uh, and I was actually able to date this one to 1982. And if you look here, I need, to, I need to rotate this image. It's in the wrong orientation. But that EY, that's an internal code for Wilson for uh, the, the month and the year that it was uh, it was created. And there, I, you know, I forgot where I looked. I just Google it um, and you can find what these uh, codes mean but mine was for 1982 so i've listed it as that if this glove was in much better condition it would have gone for two or three hundred dollars but given the condition um it, you know i listed it for 99 plus shipping and it's already got a bunch of watchers and i expect this one to go very quickly so keep an eye out for wilson a2000 gloves and i paid a dollar fifty for this so clearly they didn't know what they had and i'm happy to pick that one up all right uh, next up on the list is the are these um, Pyrex bowls. So these are vintage. They're called primary color uh, bowls. And so I found this one at a garage sale this past weekend for ten dollars uh, on the set. They're in really good condition. I don't quite know the year. I think I put eighties, nineteen eighties, based on some other listings that I found. But you can see they're in really good condition. Uh, so really cool set of bowls here, uh, and at $10, you really just can't beat it. I've got it listed for $90 plus $25 in shipping. These are a pain in the butt to ship. you got to pack them very well, and they're going to end up being pretty heavy. I don't know that it'll actually cost $25 to ship now that I think about it. It'll probably be more like $18, uh, but if it's going somewhere far like California, it'll definitely be up there in the 20s. Uh, so excited to find this one, and uh, again, this one, I wonder if this one has any watchers on it. No watchers yet, but um, uh, but you know this will definitely sell. All right, down to the final three best finds uh, and listings of the week. Uh, so this one, this is a, uh, a, a Seiko Quartz World Time Clock. I actually, you know, this I bought for twenty at a garage sale this past. Week. I just personally really liked it. So uh, I tend to, you know, if I find things that I like. Uh, I'll buy them and then I'll sort of price them high because I wouldn't mind hanging on to them for a while. This one's sitting on my bookshelf right now. It's just a really cool clock. You can see um, has this plane on the seconds hand. So that, that plane kind of goes around the world uh, as the minutes go by. You can do, uh, you know, it, it tells you the time in a bunch of different cities here. Uh, and I've got it listed for 150 free shipping. Uh, you know, again, this is probably the highest uh, list or highest priced listing on eBay, but that's by design. Um, you know, if somebody pays me 154, great, uh, I'll get it out the door. But most likely, this will sit around for some time, um, and I'll take advantage of having it on my bookshelf. And then at some point in the future, uh, I'll lower the price a little bit and get it out the door. All right, next up. 
so yeah, so these are uh, Holiday Show Home C9 Christmas lights. These are Bluetooth app controlled Christmas lights. I got these at a, let's see, this was an estate sale just a few days ago. I paid up for them. I paid a total of $37 for two boxes of these. Um, <clears throat> and uh, they're not new, they're used, but I plug them in, they work. Uh, and I've got them listed for $199.99, and I think I'll get that. Uh, I've already got an offer of one, or somebody you know, messaged me and saying they would pay $150 for them. I said, well, message me back in a week, maybe I'll think about it. But uh, for now, I'm going to keep them up for $199. You know, these you just control the lights with your app. Uh, with a, with an app on your phone and i don't know it does it does some cool stuff i'm not not entirely sure uh but either way they, they don't make them anymore and so most likely there's people that have a couple boxes of these already and like them and want more and you know it's not christmas time but honestly i sell christmas stuff all around all year around of course i sell more in in q3 and q4 uh, but i don't expect to have these for very long um and you know hopefully they'll sell soon so all right, the last and best listing of the week is not something that we found recently, actually. This one's just been sitting in our pile of to list stuff. Uh, it is an original oil painting from uh, Vanguard. Uh, I have no idea who that is. I uh, have no idea who, you know, <laughs> I don't know much about art at all. But you can see here, um, right there, original painting, and you can zoom in on that. So. Assuming this is all authentic, I'm, you know, uh, I'm not going to get it auth authenticated. It's not worth enough to do that. I'm just going to trust that uh, <laughs> this is all correct and let someone else do the uh, authenticating if they really want to. But it's an original oil painting. And these, you know, the comps are all over the place, all the way up for, for original oil Vanguard paintings, all the way up $800 down to about $100. <clears throat> So we uh, priced that at around two, uh, yeah, well, 200 bucks plus shipping. The most interesting thing though is where we got this is just at the Goodwill bins. And so the Goodwill bins are the place where you go and just dig through uh, all the leftover stuff that's been sent to the Goodwill bins. And it's sort of a chaotic, crazy place. And so they charge by the pound. And so this doesn't weigh very much. And so we basically paid a dollar for this. Um, and you know, I, I don't know, maybe it'll sell for this. Maybe it'll go for less, not really sure. We'll kind of see how demand is. Um, and probably lower the price over time if necessary. So that's it. Those are the 10 best things we listed on eBay this week. Hopefully some of this stuff will sell soon. Again, $2,500 worth basically, and I'll, I'll end up netting about $1,300 after it's all said and done. That's it. We'll see you next time. Thank you.